We have ventured deeper into the Brazilian forest. We're in the West Brazilian forest and we are hunting werewolves. Oh, give me a sec. I switched out my characters. I want to make sure they all have some the best equipment that I have on them. Something wants me dead. Oh, where was it coming from? Oh shit. Wolves. Oh, there's a werewolf. <laughs> Come on, boy. Well, I guess I didn't fit. I better go and finish the job. Oh, come on, I'm a Kill them! What, oh, wait. Where are you running? Okay. I tried to... Uh, I switched out some of my characters, and that's what that whole uh, thing with me cutting the camera was about, because I wanted to make sure they had good equipment. Turns out I didn't really have any good equipment to equip them with. So, well, I head back to the the Dalish Elf encampment, and I bought whatever I could. All that essentially meant was Sten has very outdated equipment. His armor is Tier 5. We're at Tier 6 or 7 at this point. So I replaced his Tier 5 uh, hammer with a Tier 6 axe. And Wynn, uh, unfortunately, has also... Oh, I must ask, shit, hold what on. does being a Grey Warden mean to you? Means I've been chosen to do something important. There's that, of course. But there's more to being a Grey Warden than killing Darkspawn and saving the world from the Blight. Ultimately, being a Grey Warden is about serving others. About serving all people, whether elves or dwarves or men. But the Grey Wardens bow to no one. As a Grey Warden, you are a guardian of men, and you guard them because their continued existence is more important than you are. Thus, it is you who serves, not they. I'll keep that in mind. A good king, a true king who cares for his land, uses his power to rule firmly but fairly. He serves his people first and foremost. The king who does not do this, who believes that he is entitled to his power, who abuses it and uses it for his own means, is a tyrant. So, in a way, having power confines you. If you live apart from others and your actions affect only you, then you may do as you wish. But if you have power, influence, and strength, your every action will be as a drop of water in a clear, still pond. The drop causes ripples, and ripples spread. Think of how far they will go, how wide they will become, how will they affect the pond. But I've lectured enough for today. I should stop before I wear out my welcome. Yes, you should. Anyway, I didn't have a win had outdated equipment as well. So what I did is I gave her the Spell Weaver. Now that's a sword. So why the hell is Wynne a mage carrying a sword? Well, she's not just a mage. She is an arcade warrior, which means she can use a sword. So boom. May not be the best idea, but it's one I did anyway. And for the moment, it's better than the staff that I had her equipped with. Where are these damn werewolves? I'm gonna kill me something. Oh, here we go! Who's that? Oh, it's a bear. Oh, this is a little off top of them, isn't it? This is that great of a bear. Like a Templar. Ah, eh, whatever. Moving on. So used to playing Dragon Age Inquisition that I feel the need to go and pick up everything I see. Oh, that guy doesn't look hostile.
The Watch Wolves have spoken truly, my brothers and sisters. The Daily sent a human of all things to repay us for our attack, to put us in our place. What bitter irony. Oh, you can talk. And uh, who are you supposed to be? You speak to Swift Runner. I lead my cursed brothers and sisters. Turn back now. Go back to the Dalish and tell them that you have failed. Tell them we will gladly watch them suffer the same curse we have suffered for too long. We will watch them pay. You're the werewolves who embarrass him. Ah, shit. <laughs> You're the werewolves who ambushed the Dalish, then? Yar, I regret only that we did not inflict every single one of them with the curse that night. You sound like you hate the Dalish a great deal. <sighs> that we do! How dare they send you here against us! Turn and leave, while you still have the chance! I prefer to talk to you. I mean you no harm. Was it not Safrian who sent you? <sighs> he wishes only our destruction. Never to talk. You talk of Zathrian as if you know him. <sighs> we have never met he and I. He would not survive the experience. I swear it. Why exactly? Why do you hate him so much? You know nothing, do you? Nothing of us, and even less of those you serve. You are a fool, and we are done talking. Run from the forest while you can. Run to the Dalish, and tell them they are doomed. Ha! <laughs> I'm going nowhere. <sighs> Very well. I will not risk throwing my people at you like unthinking brutes. Come, brothers and sisters. Let us retreat. The forest has eyes of its own, and it will deal with intruders as it always has. And we have another little wrinkle in our story here. Of course, stumbling up upon a Dalish camp and finding that they're being harassed by werewolves certainly seems to be rather, uh... black and white issue. Werewolves are the aggressive in the reasonable or anything like that, but uh, at least some of them are. As you say. So perhaps there's something more to this whole werewolf thing than the elves have led on. Oh, you'd think you'd be able to climb across that. Oh, no, a bridge. Oh! Oh, friggin' dark spot. Make him dead. Oh, oh yeah. Taken. We're not anywhere near it, and you still, uh, <laughs> I don't mind. Oh, 
Are these, uh... Is that a dark spawn? No, it's a skeleton. Hell, I don't know. Yes, leave it alone. No context whatsoever. Let me down there. Huh? Time for some killing. I can find a way to get over there and do some killing. Oh, the dog's gonna figure it out. Me some iron park. It is begun. Glamour charm. There wasn't much glamour on that creature. Hmm, they'd be killing a lot of people out here. Bones everywhere. Shit, did I just get led right back to the friggin' Dalish camp? Ah, crud. <laughs> ah, well, anyway. We completed the first leg of the journey, and that's a good enough of a... good enough of a milestone for me to end an episode on. So, there we go. Thanks for watching.